kettlebell squats. This is one of my favorite movements. It requires very little space um, and you really, really up the ante um, uh, as it relates to a traditional squat, that is. This is, uh, again, what I classify as uh, probably an advanced movement here. So for the sake of uh, today's demonstration, I'm going to use a 12 pound kettlebell, okay? Uh, you can use varying weights, all right? If we wanna go high repetition, let's shoot at baseline of 10 repetition upwards to 20, maybe more depending on what your trainer has you doing. Uh, other than that, uh, you can go extremely heavy. If you wanna mass build, you could do things like sumo squats. Uh, I'll demonstrate that in another video. But today uh, I wanna go over the traditional kettlebell squat, okay? So we wanna pull our kettlebell up to our collar bone level, okay, right? Put our elbow out just like we would do a kettlebell shoulder press, okay? We wanna come here, again, chest out, shoulder up, chin up, and we wanna go down, up. Squat, up. We do not wanna pause at the bottom, okay? I want you to really focus on squeezing your hamstrings, and your quads at the top of the movement, okay? If this gets to be too heavy, that's two-handed, okay? You can flip it on the far side of either wrist, whichever's more comfortable. So if you have wrist issues, if you're a golfer, if you play baseball and you have a preference, pick your wrist, okay? Same thing, elbows up at the collarbone, okay? Your objective, just try to keep a straight line here. Chin up. Shoulders back, let's squat. Now, if you wanna get really fun, we can also turn this kettlebell this way. This incorporates your traps and delts a little bit, also some lats, okay? You're gonna pull it up, try to keep those elbows up high like a butterfly, okay? Do your squats. Chin up, always chin up. Great variations here, love this movement. You should never get bored here. That is your quick tip, kettlebell squats. 